Okay, so today we're going to work on our camera setup, some one and two. I made a scene for Cam 1 demo. It's different from my Cam 1, Cam 2. That's just for the tutorial. In Cam 1 demo, we have the Cam 1 overlay, which is the number one there. That's just text-based overlay. You'll probably just black that out. Um, we have the Roar TV Live logo that's up in the upper left-hand corner. We're going to have the score bug. We're going to have the Cam 1 HDMI input and the broadcast audio. This is so you can switch from Cam 1 to Cam 2 and keep the same audio. And that's what we're looking at right there, Cam 1. So we're going to add a new scene and we're going to call it Cam 2 Demo. And once we get this made, we're going to use, we're going to, it's going to drop it down here at the bottom button. We're going to use the list view to change the order. It's much easier to use list view to change the order than it is to change it in grid mode. It's just kind of wonky in grid mode. I don't like it. So here we have to stretch out and find our Cam 2 Demo. It's down there below the screen. There it is, Cam 2 Demo. And we're going to drag it up under Cam 1 Demo. Um, once we do that, we'll drop it. We go back to right-click grid mode, and our buttons are in order. We have to readjust the buttons if you like them like this. I prefer them like this. My kids prefer them like this. So now we're on Cam 1 Demo and Cam 2. It has nothing in it, black screen. Back to Cam 1. There are some things we might copy over here, but we're going to start by adding our input. So we go over here, and we're going to add a video capture device, and that's our camera. We're going to name it uh, Cam 2 HDMI. I designate HDMI versus our NDI cameras versus um, anything we're going to use. I use the input as kind of a thing. There I am. Hey, how's it going? Um, and I'm going to change that to Analog Capture 2. That's our second encoder. And we get the color bars because I've got color bars set up on my cameras. Um, and we're going to mess around with the custom settings here. Uh, sometimes you can change the FPS, the little red thing saying, hey, this isn't right. Something doesn't look right here. If you go to resolution and click whatever resolution you're sending it out in, 1920 by 1080, boom, there's your camera screen. All right. Next thing I want to do is I want to mute my audio for desktop, mute my audio for HDMI 2. I don't want my camera input. I don't want to know what the camera's saying on live. I don't want my desktop going bing in the middle of a broadcast uh, or error message in the middle, you know. It's going to happen, but we don't want that going out. So I go to Cam 1, and I'm going to – hold up here a sec. Right there, we're on the broadcast audio. We're going to copy that. Now we're going to go to Cam 2 Demo, and we're going to paste it referenced. It doesn't matter. Just references puts it in there. Now you see we have the broadcast audio. I drag it down below the Cam 2, the Cam 2 HDMI input. I always want my audio on the bottom. It's easier that way. Now I'm checking the line. You might have USB input. You might have line in. Whatever you chose when you plug it in. I chose line in because we use an aux cable into our laptop. You might have a USB. Back to Cam 1. Now we want to add the Cam 2 overlay just to tell you it's Cam 2. There's nothing more than adding a text overlay. We are going to add 2 in there. We're going to hit OK. We're not even going to outline it. And then we're going to make it big so you can tell the difference between the Cam 1 color bars and the Cam 2 color bars. Simple, easy thing to do. If you want to add any text, that's how you do it. I'm just using that, turning it off, turning it on. We're going to leave it back on so we can tell when we're on 1 and when we're on 2. Notice our audio stays the same no matter what we're doing. Back to Cam 1, and we're going to copy some of our other cameras that may not change. Cam 1 will always be different from Cam 2, but our scoreboard cam, our score bug, which is software we use to overlay the score and whatnot. If you use software, Great. If you don't use software for a score bug, you can do the scoreboard cam, point a camera at your scoreboard. That's not going to change. So we want to copy those because they will copy straight up. Um, just kind of reorder in here. Um, so my Roar TV Live logo, that will always be the same. The score bug logo will always be the same. Uh, the scoreboard cam will always be the same. And notice I'm just kind of going back and forth. Now, if I want to add a commercial, this is a scene for a commercial. I just put the I add media. There's our Friday Night Lights commercial. Um, more of a promo than a commercial. So you can see what we do here for Friday nights. This is our technical difficulty screen when we can just put the audio out. Something goes wrong with the camera. Something's happening on the field that we can't show. We can click to the audio only. We just don't have our cameras. This is our pregame interview. We preload some audio uh, interview with uh, Blake Klickner and Coach Burleson every week. And behind it is the warm-up while they're warming up on the field. And we put this little picture in there. Easy way to do a pregame interview. All right, there it is. 
a blitz package on how to add camera two and keep the broadcast audio flowing when you switch from one to two. Same broadcast audio, different camera, same overlays. Thanks, let me know if you got any questions.